Hey, so you've seen a couple afterburner board videos on here, so I thought I'd show you what they came out of and what I'm working on. So here's the afterburner deluxe I picked up, and I picked up an upright too. Tale of two afterburners. So it's in very rough condition. Uh, I will link to the Clav forum thread where I'm mostly documenting, you know, more details on this particular machine, more details on part numbers which might be helpful if you start restoring one of these yourself. Um, you know, it's, it's a long process so far. I've had it a few months and I really have not done much on it yet. I've taken a few things out, fixed a little bit here and there. The next thing I've got to do, and this is one of, one of the biggest hurdles with this machine is the, uh, the wiring harnesses are in a very sorry state. So remaking those, rebuilding that. Some of it's okay, you can see here the triangle board. That's all right. Cosmetics and stuff will come last, but that's going to be fun. This is when it gets fun, you know, making it all pretty again after it's working. So that's that's the deluxe. Uh, the guy that uh, was doing this auction, uh, he had three of these deluxe machines. I think he had two uprights. Um, one of the uprights was working. This was one of the non-working uprights. That's why the guy sold it to me. Um, basically for charities like I know you need a board you can have my upright I got it from the same auction so we're sort of kindred spirits in that we got these you know rough machines from this auction they're all pretty rough uh, one of the deluxe machines was working the other two weren't um, I've been in contact with the guys that bought the other two machines this one had the most uh, this one had sort of the worst art so I think it was outside um, you know the worst wood damage but it had all the plastics on it. The other two machines didn't, and I figured those would be hard to come by or remake versus, you know, this kind of stuff. You can sand, you can fill, you can put new art on, whatever. Um, so that's that's the idea there. Part of the decision in uh, restoring this machine as opposed to parting it out uh, was because it's had so many... Pl I mean, they're pretty rare-ish, rare enough. And it's a really cool thing. I mean, it's a totally unique machine. They don't make machines quite like this anymore. The other thing I thought was really cool, this is part of the, my decision too, was that, look at this coin counter. 722,000 quarters have gone through this machine. Look at that, I got a few bucks in there too, ha ha. Anyway, I mean, that's, that's a lot of quarters, you know. This, this machine has provided a lot of fun for a lot of people in the last 30 odd years. So I thought it deserved a second chance at life. Look, I think they rigged this up. This is funny. Into the coin mech. So you can just mash down for coins instead of putting coins in it. So more than that, I mean, this thing probably had a million, a million plays or something. So pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to keep making progress on it. I do have a working board now and uh, that's where it's at. This is the roll motor. Took it out to test it. Pitch motor still missing. That's next to. Anyway, quick walk around and show and tell on the deluxe. So more of this coming. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool when it's done.